Hello again, and welcome back to the beginning of the end. Uh, yeah, I mean, let's just carry on. I'll start here. All right, I'm going to expect every single piece of evidence here. Oh, okay. The Monokuma file this time barely has any information in it at all. Uh, okay. Yeah, it won't be much use to us. It's so useless, he probably shouldn't have even gone out of his way to give it to us. Oh, wow. That's nice. It's fine, it's fine. A mask's appearance at a murder scene brings a sense of relief and peace of mind. <laughs> Why, he popped out. Oh, what an attention hog. Hmm. Of course I want attention, I'm the mascot for crying out loud. Hey, um... And yet, I've appeared fewer times that the plain Jane to me over there. It'd be false advertising if I didn't appear as often as I can, you know? Um, advertising? What advertising? No. Ignore it, let's just focus on the investigation. Yeah. yeah. Okay, alright, sure. Okay, I want to talk to you. Before I do anything else. What? Well, I don't want to talk to you right now, okay? Mm. But you are now. You might start accusing people because you can't believe Kaito's death. No. No, that's not. I don't want to hear your excuses or anything else. Just don't talk to me. If you keep bugging me, Great, huh? I'll give you Afro air with my magic. She's awfully stubborn. Is that is she that suspicious of everything now? Or is there a reason she doesn't want to talk to anyone? Alright, let's have a look at that. There's a sleeve sticking out of the press. It's definitely Kaito's coat sleeve. In that case, the victim must be. I don't want to do it, but I have to raise the press to inspect the body. Drug press is down and there is blood in the area. The hydraulic press is controlled by these buttons. If we use this to lift up the hydraulic press, we should be able to check the body. Hmm. I don't really want to do that though. Was this connected before? Ah, oh, fuck it. These controls move the hydraulic press. It can go up, down, and stop. I should be able to use the up button to raise the press and check the body. Hmm. I don't want to see a crushed body, no matter who it is. But I have to do it. Right. I have to know. I made up my mind, took a breath, and pressed the button. Hmm. Huh? It's not moving. I pressed the button a few more times, but the press still wouldn't move. Why? Strange, you moved when I pressed it last time. They're looking around the press, I found. Oh, oh I was right. The power cord, the cord is cut. I see, there's no power, so the hydraulic press won't move. Hmm. This can't be a coincidence, the power cord was cut on purpose. This must be the work of the culprit. In that case, we won't be able to check the body. I'm honestly a little relieved, but I shouldn't say that out loud. Hmm. I should take another look at the controls, there must be some clue here. In addition to the control buttons, there's an emergency stop button. The press would have been stopped instantly if you used this. Well. If the culprit were planning this murder, they'd have no use for it. What concerns me more is the safety function. That's right, this hydraulic press should have had a safety function. If the infrared sensor detects a living thing, then the press stops automatically. Well, it didn't stop when Kibo tried before. If the sensor detected a person, the safety should have stopped the press automatically. Hmm. Stop automatically, huh? Yeah, so he must have been dead. It looks like a machine used to paint egg cells. It smells kind of like paint thinner. It looks the same as before, probably not related to the case. It looks like a car wash. I imagine this for cleaning exosols. 
It doesn't look like it's been used in a while. I don't see any clues. Oh. There's an access hall right in the middle of the hangar. The hatch is open as well. The cockpit is exposed. This is how it looks on the inside, huh? It's small, but big enough for one person. Oh. Huh? The hatch is open? How oh, strange. Only the monocopes can turn off the electric lock and open the hatch. Huh? Only the monocopes can open the hatch? Yeah. Yeah. Normally, the monocopes are the only ones who can pilot the exosols. Well. Normally being the keyword. Because of the electro hammer thingy, the electronic lock is all screwed up. Uh, um, Have you mentioned this to anyone else? Unbelievable. Nope, no one's asked me about it either. And even if I had asked, even if I had been asked, it would have been irrelevant information to you anyway. Electronic lock on the edge that only the monocups can disable. Which must be why only the monocups can control the exosols. If you could disable the lock, hmm. control the exosols. Actually, electronic lock has been added. Yeah, I was just manipulating the whole thing. Cool. It's panel that controls the alarm system and an electric barrier. I don't see any reason to turn them back on, though. There. Can we talk about that? What is this, a bloodstain? There's a faint trail of blood leading to the press, a swipe pattern as if dragged. It looks as if it's coming from the bathroom. Bloodstain suggests something was dragged from the bathroom to the press. Give me Kukichi's body! This is the bathroom, now that I think about it. No, I'm locked up in this bathroom, but Kukichi is just outside that door. This is a place where Kaito was in prison. Kaito might have left some kind of clue here. No. I know, he didn't leave anything. He might not be dead. Anyway, I should investigate inside. Okay. There are arrows on the floor of the bathroom. Three in total and blood on all of them. Uh, um... What is this? What happened here? What happened? Crossbow, this is. One of the crossbows from Maki's lap. Why is this here? A small bottle in the corner of the bathroom. It's empty. I, remember correctly. I feel like I've seen this before. Label as blood all over it. I can't read it completely, but I can see the word poison. Could it be? And if it is poison, this bottle must be taken from my lab. I don't know who brought this here. It definitely has something to do with this case. Small window for ventilation. This is. Same window from before. Small window and it doesn't open all the way. No one would be able to fit through here. Wow. I suppose if someone could fit through, Kaito would have escaped by now. Perhaps it's too small for a person, but an object could fit through. I generally thought there was going to be a body here, to be fair. I'm generally surprised there wasn't. A blood stain. A puddle of blood in the center of the room and a swipe pattern from there to the floor. Hmm. What could this mean? Can I go? Oh, okay. Alright, sure. Uh, what was the button? Oh, oh, oh. I didn't see you. Ah, this case. Oh, what's in the black case over there? As if backing away from the conversation, Kaito added to the far shelf. What's this? Is this some kind of weapon? This is the case from before, right? Hmm. 
All right, I finished investigating the bathroom. There are more clues that I thought there'd be, and no one in, and one in is particularly concerning. Why is the crossword from Maki's lab in here? And the three blood arrows. Those arrows are definitely from the crossbow, but why are all three bloodied? And the ball of poison, what could have been used for? Hmm. Still so much I don't know. This case looks like it's going to be tricky. Did they embed this with poison? It would certainly do the trick, I think. Uh, is there something? Yes, it's open. Cockpit is posed. This is how it looks on the inside. Mount Coops can zip the hatch. On the other hand, if you could disable the lock, you could control the exosol. Hope it's probably Kokichi, but I'm worried about the class trial. Got this more here. Alright, sorry. I will never stop pressing the wrong button. Do I do the other one? The red exit is completely still. It's an interest there. If you go near that thing, you might get torn apart. No, it shouldn't move anymore, not without the mono cubs or Kokichi. So it's just a pile of scrap then. Hey! Don't scare me like that. My magic. Maybe I should just tear this hunk of junk apart with my magic. Oh. Uh, but I suppose that if Kokichi was alive, he could move it at any time by remote. Yeah. Why did you say so sooner? That is, if Kokichi is alive. That remote control Kokichi has for the Exosols. What is it exactly? Does he have that because he's a mastermind? Okay. Feels like I've done everything, no? What am I missing? That's just the toilet. The toilet. We able to press the button to raise, but power cord is cut. We know power the press itself won't move. I'm certain that this was done intentionally. Must be the work of the culprit. In that case, we won't be able to check the body. In addition to the control buttons, there's an emergency stop button. The press would have been stopped instantly if you used this. Well, if the culprit were planning to murder, then they'd have no use for it. Yeah, the safety function. Oops. I skipped a bit there more than I intended. Am I missing something? Whoa. Is there more traces of blood that I need to... What am I missing? I inspected the press. You think with this new mode where you can see everything you can interact with, it'd be helpful. But no. I'm just as confused as ever. I talked to you. Shut up. Okay, I did talk to her. Oh my god, what am I? Am I stupid? Okay, I didn't track with that.
Wait. Uh. I thought I interacted with that. The sleeve sticking out of the press. It's definitely Kaido's coat sleeve. In that case, the victim must be. No, that hasn't been determined yet. I need to investigate further. It looks like the left sleeve sticking out of the hydraulic press. Only the sleeve is sticking out. No part of the victim's body visible. Were they crushed completely or so that only the sleeve remains? Hmm, what's this? Sleeve has a single small hole in it. A hole in the sleeve. What could this be? I suppose that's about all the information I can do from the hydraulic press. Really? I had interacted that with that before. What? I can't check the body, so I don't have many clues to work with. I'll have to find more clues elsewhere. That's about all I can investigate here in the anger. There are still questions. The truth is still far out of reach. I still can't deduce who the victim is. I need more clues. I should investigate other areas. I should start with the areas around the anger. The alarm system is off. It must still be affected by the electro bomb. Right. Should investigate this place thoroughly. There must be some clues around here. All right, you had something important to say. You, I think I'm starting to feel a little better now. I'm sorry for worrying you, Suji. Okay. I was a bit worried. I'm glad you're feeling better. There was something I needed to ask Kibo. Hey, hey Kibo, before we went into the anger this morning, you said. So I went to the anger last night and tried to talk to him. You tried to talk to him on your own? I'm sorry. I thought it would be preferable for him to release Kaido peacefully. How did it go? It went well as well as expected. There was no response at all. But I did witness a few things. Uh, um... You said that you witnessed a few things. What exactly did you see? Hmm. Oh yes. Since we were in a hurry, I only told you about the exercise returning to the anger. Okay. Yes, you said the exosol could pass through the alarm system and bury it to the anger. Yes. I never imagined some, something like this would happen, so I didn't mention it before. But before I saw the exosol, I saw someone heading towards the anchor. Huh? anger. I saw someone. Um, I saw Himiko. I was in my lab, trying to think of what I should write to convince Kokichi. That's when I saw her walking toward the hangar, clutching something in her hands. I think it was a black bag. Interesting. A black bag? I... At the time, I assumed she was going there to examine things or plead with Kukichi. And since she came back later, I didn't think much of it. But, but after seeing a reaction this morning, I started to get a little suspicious. What? What did you see? Why? She was acting like she had something to hide. It's not that I want to suspect her. You're right. Sure, it is suspicious. Hey. You said you saw her come back as well. Was she holding the bag at the time? Well. Now that I think about it, she didn't. So she had it coming in, but not leaving. It has to be the black bag Himiko was carrying was... Um. By the way, this is a little off-topic, Shrichi, but... Huh? Huh, what is it? I I the reason I wasn't feeling well may have been due to the electro bomb. But it was because of the electromagnetic particles, not because I'm a robot. So what I experienced was akin to an allergic reaction, such as hay fever. So it could have affected a human the same way. Being a robot had nothing to do with it. Uh, okay. Right, that must be it. So the thing Himiko said was bothering him. He really is a bit too sensitive. This is a control panel that controls the electro barrier protecting the anger. We did with the electro hammer, so it isn't operational right now. That's true. That's right. What are these marks here? It looks as if it's been stuck by something sharp. What could this be? Hmm. Oh wait, how were they even able to damage this in the first place? Getting the control panel should cause the alarm to go off. You have to turn off the alarm before you can get close. So how did the person who did this get near the control panel? Interesting. This is a bathroom window. This is the anger's only window and it's not possible to fit through. 
That means the only way to get into this anger is through the shitter. The exosols isn't showing any signs of moving. Gugichi is alive, it can use his remote control to move them as it pleases. That remote control Gugichi asked for the exosols. What is it exactly? Does he have that because he's the mastermind? Exosol isn't showing any signs of moving. Yeah. I assumed it was skipping because I've read it, but yeah, it's the same. Yeah. Okay, all exosols. Oh. There's an electro hammer here, but why? And it's out of power, it must have been used. But used for what? Well, you know. But be careful, the electro hammer runs out of battery pretty quickly. So if you use it against an exosol, it'll run out of juice with just one shot, got it? Maki. What have you done, Maki? I'm guessing. She either sold more than one grenade. And thus was able to get into the latch of one of the robots. Got into the hangar because they were unaffected by everything. And helped kill Kikichi. But then what's the end game here? Okay. The Electro Hammer's power is expended. It requires 24 hours to recharge. You know that for certain. I remember the site I saw yesterday. Exosol protecting Monokuma for some reason. Peter said he was the mastermind. The Exosol should have been around him. So why were they still protecting Monokuma? And four of them too. I suppose I was so caught up thinking about Kokichi Agdo Monokuma. Pay attention, listen up, take heed, I say. Monokuma? It's just, I noticed that you came this way last night, Shuichi. Huh? You were acting all sneaky, weren't you? Like a teenage boy trying to creep into adult movie sections of the video store. But you didn't need to sneak around, because the Exosols would have attacked you. What are you saying? We didn't have to sneak... Because everyone's coming to rent adult movies, so in a way, everyone's going there is the same. Wait. No, not that. I mean about the Exosols not attacking us. Oh, at the time, the Exosols were on autopilot and directed to only observe me. Hey, um... Their movements are more limited now that the monocubs aren't around to pilot them. Huh? Autopilot? You mean the remote control that gets you us? Well... Yeah, that's pretty much it. So the exercises were being controlled by Kokichi's remote control. But they were focusing on Monokuma? Why are you telling me all of this? I suppose the person controlling you at a disadvantage. Hey, um... But we're not talking about that, we're talking about this! Yeah. Even if it puts someone at a disadvantage, the class trial must always be fair. Hmm. The person who shared that info with me didn't seem interested in sharing it with you guys. Hey. So you share it instead, that way it'll be fair for all participants. So someone else besides me know this. Why wouldn't they share this information? Okay, okay that's all I can tell you. Yeah. Yeah. By the way, renting movies is so old school. It's more thrilling to legally download them. Psycho it's like trying not to get caught in a big game hunter while holding your breath during sex. Okay. Information about the exosols could be a clue to solving this case. I should remember this. Okay. I'm actually... Yeah, I'm actually... Don't know. I've investigated thoroughly inside. I should check around the anger now. I checked the anger. Is there something else? Is 
There's something here on this corner. Doesn't look like it. It's gonna be the anger shutter. The anger shutter. There's a security alarm here. You have to use the alarm remote to disable it to get near the shutter. If you come near the shutter without the remote, the other arm would go off around the entire academy. We had to use an electro bomb to disable the sensor and the alarm. That's how we got into the anger. Nihihi, <laughs> it's not exactly a bomb though, even if it is called an electro bomb. It jams electronic signals by scattering particles that interfere with the electromagnetic waves. For two hours, any and all electronic devices within 50 yards will be completely disabled. It's perfect for any secret activities too, since it doesn't have, leave any debris behind. This invention is extraordinary, but I only have three of them. So I need to use them carefully. You guys will have to settle for the electro hammers. Now that I think about it, there were three electro bombs total. One was stolen by Mackie, but what about the other two? So, but that's about all I was concerned with in the anger. I still don't have enough clues. There have to be more. The other places that might yield some clues are Maki's lab and my lab. Crossbow in the bathroom, the bottle of poison. I need to investigate those leads. Right. I should also expect the three exit cells that were protecting Monokuma. Why were they protecting him in the first place? This might be related to the case as well. As in... These ones? I thought I already did that. What exactly did I witness here? I know for certain that the exit cells are being controlled by Kukichi remote control. Why are they focusing on Monokuma? Alright, alright. I think it was just giving me a clue to look at the exit cells again. So, am I able to leave now? Yes. Okay. Can I teleport? To... There. I feel as though there are less weapons here than I remember. Alright everyone, here, everyone's here. I hope you're all ready. Are those weapons? So you went to my lab yesterday to find weapons to use against Monokuma. It's because Kaito had them. Okay. Sorry, wrong button. Also, there are less weapons here than I remember. Okay, sorry. Yep, alright. Look at all these guns. Even if they're all airsoft guns, it's a remarkable sight. As I suspected, there are two black bags here, identical to the one in the anger. There are cases for crossbows. The crossbows are inside, but disassembled. No. It looks as if they don't even fit in the case unless it's disassembled. But there are two. When I was here with Kaito before, there were three of them. And I'm sure that Kaito didn't have a crossbow with him. Are you sure? True. In that case, the crossbow in the anger must have come from here. Which means someone must have brought it to the anger from here. But it's fairly difficult to put together the crossbow. I don't believe you'd be able to do it unless Maki taught no. you. I'll think more about that later, but for now I need to investigate. Huh. 
Can I leave then? Nice. Back to my room. Ball of poison in the hangar. I need to confirm that it came from here. A bunch of bottles on top of the desk. Someone take them out. Those bottles say antidote. Antidotes, huh? I didn't know that these were here. According to the labels, each bottle is only one dose. And each one only works on a specific poison. Well, I suppose that makes sense. There are plenty of different kinds of poisons, so that must be true for antidotes. Okay, that's... There are several bottles of poison lined up here. I haven't seen any poison outside of this lab, so... A small bottle of poison I found must have come from here. Strike 9. Wow. Okay. Uh-huh. Almost like Radical 6, you, you could say, except inverted. There's a little less sigma inside this bottle than the others. The label says Strike 9 Poison. Although it requires time to circulate, even a small amount in the body will result in certain death. This poison takes some time to spread, but even a small amount of it can be lethal. I can't imagine that there's a smaller amount in this bottle for no reason. This must be a clue. Hmm. Strike Knight poison and antidotes that is disconcerting. None of these antidotes are for Strike Knight poison. They're all for different poisons. What could that mean? Alright, all right, I've investigated this room thoroughly. I didn't find any evidence to suggest Kaito isn't dead. On the contrary, there's plenty of evidence to suggest Kikichi isn't dead. Monokuma is still moving around and the killer game hasn't ended. And Kaido's clothes were in the hydraulic press. Which means the victim must be. No. Now it's just soon to be thinking like that. If I investigate a little more, I'll find something. There's still time, I should head back to the anger. Perhaps I missed something. I should check again. Okay. What was Einstein's quote? A quote like isn't it like a, an exercise in fertility is to do the same thing over and over again and expect a different result is that not what we're doing Boy is gone. Shuichi. Okay. Everyone's here. Oh, Shuichi, can you come with me? What happened? Something wrong? Um. I found something strange in the bathroom. Please hurry. Shut it quickly and ran into the bathroom. What are you talking about, Kibu? Did you all plan this? Maki. Why is it so easy for you to believe Kaito is dead? Hey, hey it's almost time for the class trial to start, right? Was no one able to find Kokichi? Uh, um... I wonder, I haven't heard from anyone. I, I wonder where he went off to. They disappear, it can't still be in the anger. Or under there. Could it be? Richie, do you think the one who died was Kokichi? Uh -huh. Um Seems like... I mean your face says you want to think that. It's plain to see. I think that's just plain impossible. Kokichi's been ma manipulating us all from the start. I can't believe someone like that could be killed by Kaito. 
Oh, of course. I don't mean to compliment Kokichi or make fun of Kaito or anything. Okay. I know, you're probably right. To make it a good point. I still don't have enough clues to conclude that Kokichi died. I'm certain that one of them must have. Uh, I was trying to talk to Miss Himiko over here. Hey. Keep was looking for you, you know. Hurry up and get to the bathroom. I'm not going to ask what you're going to do with the robot in the bathroom. It's on Himiko's mind. I just committed a murder and I'm getting away with it. Hey. Kibo, what are you looking at? Yes. Take a look at this. Oh. Huh? These are Kokichi's clothes. It's soaked and wrinkled, but there's no doubt these are Kokichi's. But... Where did you find this? I didn't see it when I was investigating the bathroom. And why are they soaked? Well... The toilet seemed cocked, so I reach my hand down the drain and pull out these clothes. It looks like they couldn't flush all the way. Couldn't be flushed all the way. Why are these clothes in the toilet in the first place? Yeah. Yes, it was very brave of me, and thanks to that, I managed to find an important clue. No, Tracy, please investigate as much as you want. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah? Hog in the toilet, huh? But this isn't the time to hesitate. Kitchen's clothes found in the bathroom. If they were found in the toilet, someone must have tried to flush them. But who would do that? What's the matter? Is something the matter? Please investigate. Okay. Yeah, uh, okay. The ultimate detective can stop here. This has to be an important clue. Right. I made up my mind, grab Kokichi's old clothes, and spread them open. Hmm. Huh? There's a small hole in the back. There's another small hole on the sleeve. Hmm. It's about the same size as the one on Kaito's sleeve. I trust there's blood around the holes too. What does this mean? It could mean that he was attacked. In that case, they are both death under the press. There's a chance Kokishi was the one crushed in an hydraulic press. Thank you. Akibo, thank you. Thank you. This is a very important clue. Well. Oh, I'm happy I was able to help, but I must decline shaking the hand of yours. Ah, no. uh, your hands aren't clean either though. Okay. So they're both dead in the press, right? But if Kokichi was the one crushed in the hydraulic press... Oh, or, or, right? Kaito knew he had been poisoned, probably by Kokichi. So he killed Kokichi with a poison. Kokichi's poison, the poison for Kokichi. And then when he was dead, he put them in the hydraulic press. And then he knew he was gonna die, so he just put himself in the hydraulic press. But then how did he press the button? Unless uh, he just drank the last of a poison or something? Where did Kaito go? Why not show himself? And why is this game still going even though the mastermind's dead? Um, If this is awkward, Shuishi, I can leave and give you some privacy. Huh? You're concerned about that? He and I washed our hands in the sink. And left the bathroom. I hated that transition, but okay. There we go. <laughs> it's about that time. That's right. It's time for the class trial, where hope and despair meet head on. Please proceed to the Shrine of Judgment in the courtyard and head to the trial grounds. Everyone needs to be there. Got it? Interesting detail. Anyone who's absent will be swiftly and permanently punished. <laughs> I wonder what kind of despair awaits you this time. Hmm. Everyone needs to be there. That means Kokichi or Kaito, whoever is alive, will be there. Then at the trial, we'll know who the victim is. 
Well then. Jeez. It's time. I'll go on ahead then. Yep. We're out of time. If I must. Let's head to the trial grounds. We need to settle our business with Kokichi. Okay. It's already starting. All of us, that means Kokichi will come too. And then neither of them show up because they're both dead. But then how... Someone would have to destroy the hydraulic press. Someone would have to press the hydraulic press. So someone is hiding information. But they're not the murderer. They're probably just hiding the body, really, so they won't be punished. But there's always has to be a punishment. So... I don't know. Huh? This isn't ev- sorry. This isn't everyone, right? Uh, um, I don't think Kokichi aren't here. I bet Kokichi's already there. As a mastermind of the killing game, he's waiting for us to arrive. No. We don't know that yet. There's still a chance Kaito's alive. Cut it out. Do you want to die? Maki. Well. This is a battle between hope and despair. If I show any weakness like you are, then I know I'll lose to the spare. Lose to the spare. Six of us will participate and one of us will die after this class trial. Then only five people will be left. Only five. That's right, we're the only ones left. That's obvious. But we can't lose to the spare. Even if we have no future, we need to win. This is the whole point of this class trial. I will defeat Kakichi no matter what I have to sacrifice. No matter what she has to sacrifice? Are you sure about that, Maki? Is that what you call hope? I know that we can't lose to the spare, but something is wrong. Something doesn't feel right. I wonder what Kaito would say at a time like this. What would he say to us? If it was Kaito. Shuichi. I understand you don't want to believe it, but Kaito's not here anymore. Fuck you. It'll be okay. I'm fine. I'll be on my guard the whole time. Right. I'm filled with combined power of hope and magic right now. Um, Let's go. No matter what Kukishi is giving, there's no way we can lose. After all, we're students of Hope Speak Academy. I'll defeat Kokichi no matter what I have to sacrifice. We can't lose. Alright, well, here we go. We didn't say a word to one another. That was a tomb. We stepped into these o into those open doors. I just had a thought. Interesting. I wonder if the wording could have been like, oh, it could have been plural. It could be two people in there. We don't know. Oh my god, there's so little of us. I lost the will to live knowing that we knowing what we know about the outside world. But somehow, despite that despair, we had found a new reason to live. To win the battle between open despair. But now, what do we know? We don't know what hope means to us anymore. What is hope? A burden you bear? As those thoughts pierced my mind, I suddenly stopped. 
can't think about things like that anymore. The only thing I need to think about is survival. Oh? That's nice. Ah, uh, battle like this takes me back. After all, hope and despair are natural enemies. We're also in the trial, one of the trial grounds from one, I think. Yes, this is truly a magnificent team. <laughs> Only assumed works of fiction have themes as magnificent as this. Why? Wow, sucking your own dick, aren't you? Anyway, where's Kokichi? Why isn't he here? Maki was right. The person who should be here isn't. <laughs> well, I'll tell you once the trial starts. What? What's going on? What are you scheming now? No. It doesn't matter what Kokichi is skimming. This is the final battle between hope and despair. It all ends here. Kokichi can twist and violate the rules all he likes, but we'll never give up. Hope will never submit to despair. Oh, for the love of no rules have been violated. Not on my watch, you know. Whatever, hurry up and start. We'll end up with this class trial. We'll defeat the remnants of despair no matter what. So get ready. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Now let's get started. Mix equal parts life and death. Add a dash of lies and truth. Bake it in fires of conflict. <laughs> and when it's golden brown and bubbling, you have yourself a truly decadent class trial. And once more, we face a class trial. Was the one who died Kaito or Kokichi? Can't say for certain, but I still believe. Kaito wouldn't die so easily. Don't know why I believe that so strongly. But I will fight to prove it. I will fight with everyone. To grasp hope on the other side of this truth. I will fight. I will fight in this trial of truth and lies. Yes, actually, I would like to say thank you very much. Yep, that one. It's nine saves in. I think so. 39 episodes in? My god. You know, fight against the mastermind, Kokichi, the students must survive a class trial without knowing the. Murder or the victim. An unpredictable trial begins. It, it definitely is unpredictable. But I think it's good. <laughs> like it's question mark. That's interesting, yeah. I think they're both dead and someone just helped dispose of the bodies in a way. But I, I suppose we'll see next episode. I'm actually interested. i hoping it's not going to be like Gaunter again where it's like, oh, what's the reasoning? Oh, bullshit, I guess. So I'm, I'm looking forward to this. This hopefully will be very good. But yeah. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time for the class trial. Bye bye.